The opioid epidemic has hit Clallam County so hard, Rachel Anderson could no longer just sit and watch. So we are a Suboxone clinic. With far too few people seeking treatment on their own, the drug clinic worker decided to push the issue and bring the opportunity to them. It breaks my heart. Like many communities, Port Angeles has been hit with a wave of homelessness and addiction. You can always come in and see us and see if that's something that we can help you with. Rachel okay. is on the front lines of the battle for people's lives, encouraging addicts to come to treatment. And slowly but surely, it's working. Yeah, I see it every day that people are um, actually having their lives back, which is pretty cool. Using about a million dollars in state grants, Clellum County is now playing a bigger part as well. Jail staff is now using medication to help addicts detox from heroin while in custody. Once they're released, they're connected with this brand new treatment facility operated by Olympic Peninsula Health Services, where new patients are coming every day. Yes, this has uh, been one of the local spots for homeless encampments. Johnny Watts runs the county's drug court. They give second chances to nonviolent addicts through treatment with a 70% completion rate. Uh, we're fortunate enough to you know, our, our prosecutors, our, our defense counsel, our our, our judges, you know, they're all well informed on, on the disease of addiction and, and they have an open mind to a, to a different therapeutic process instead of incarceration. Do you know anyone personally that has died? For Rachel Anderson, it's much more personal. Her brother died from a heroin overdose and she sees him in each and every one of the people she's working desperately to save. I just think back to him laying there in that bed dying and it just didn't have to be that way. In Port Angeles, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.